Hey y'all, welcome back to Drinkity Drinks. Today, we're gonna take a dive into Michter's Small Batch Unblended American Whiskey. Now this Michter's Small Batch is 83.4 proof. It's one of the oldest distillers made with the highest quality American grains, matured to a peak to perfection in bourbon soaked white oak barrels. It is then further mellowed by our signature filtration from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I heard good things about this one. I tried another Michter's while I was at um, some bar. I think it was the regular bourbon one or it might have been the rye. I cannot remember, but um, yeah, I cracked this one on New Year's Eve too, and I started drinking this one, and I liked it. For a low proof, it had like some good flavor. I don't remember it too much because it was towards the end of the night when I tried it, but I know I was liking it. That's a really nice cork. Look at this. Yeah, I guess that really snugs up. It's a real cork. Let's pour some in this glass. And let's try this Michter's out again, at least for me. Any of you guys ever tried this thing? I was surprised a lot of people liked the whiskey over the bourbon. I would figured the bourbon was better because I'm assuming it's aged longer, but I don't know. It smells nice. I smell caramel on it and a little bit maybe vanilla. Let's see what flavors I'm actually tasting. That's nice. You get some heat up front, just a first initial soft little bit of heat, and then it just gets right into sweetness. Uh, butterscotch, vanilla too, and caramel. It's just a little bit of caramel. It's more vanilla and butterscotchy to me. Maybe some fruit stuff, but I don't really know what fruit. But I really taste the butterscotch, the oak in it. You could taste the barrel, even though I'm assuming it's not that old. Yeah, it's another smooth, easy to drink bottle. You could drink this whole thing um, really easily. And it's not that expensive. I think I got this bottle for like 40 bucks. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't that expensive. And it says uh, they've been making it since 1753, I guess. That is crazy. That's a long time. Really, really good and smooth. I don't even know if I would mix this too much with a drink because it tastes so mild, not that potent. So I don't know if it would stand out that much in a drink. Yeah, let me just pour this into freaking um, make a quick little old fashioned and see how it holds up in there. But I don't, I don't even think that's gonna really do it justice. I think this one you just drink it straight. It's like kind of mild. Everything that it offers, I'd probably use something else. Like if I was mixing it in a drink, but as a bourbon to drink straight, it's fine. It is really fine. Uh, I hate that all my drinks are so high. I gotta like get a step stool to go get them. I just want to be grabbing bottles and just try them and compare them and everything. I, I have a bottle. I think that'd be a good comparison to that. I'm not sure. I have been testing quite a few whiskeys already. I'm gonna put this in a small old fashioned. Let's see what we got. Just a quick old fashioned. Nothing too crazy. Just eyeball it really quick. If you want to pour your bourbon, too much, but whatever. Get your bourbon, about a shot of bourbon. You guys all know how to make old fashioned. Get these Angostura bitters, two shots of regular Angostura bitters. If you got an orange pill, you could just zest it all in, like squeeze the orange. If not, get orange. Angostura bitters, put one dash of that. Put some uh, simple syrup, as much as you want. Mix it all up. I don't know if this is gonna stand out. Like I said, the flavors are pretty mild in it. It's smelling really sweet and orangey, little orange bitters. It's great, really sweet. Makes a great old fashioned. I might have added a little too much simple syrup. Or probably not, it's probably just a sweet bourbon. Cause this is even as thick as I usually make my simple syrup. I think that's a 50-50 mix. So um, yeah, it makes a fine, fine old fashioned. I'm gonna drink it, it's straight. It doesn't really stand out though in the old fashioned, but it tastes great. It's, it's a great old fashioned. Let me taste again, see if we come up with a score for this thing. Yeah, I really smell that vanilla. It's good, easy to drink. It's a good bottle. I think I'm gonna give this a bottle because it wasn't expensive too. I think I got this for like 40 bucks. I'm gonna give it a seven nine. Seven nine for this. Almost made an eight. I think a seven nine is good. It's just a little mild for my you know preference. I just like high proof and I'm pretty freaking biased to that. Uh, so for this proof, because it's really low. It's like, yeah, 83 proof. It's almost as low as you can go, but it does have flavor for that low of proof. It's just mild, like I said, but I'm gonna enjoy this bottle probably finish it off with my brothers or something. Oh, it's a good old fashioned. These never get old, even though they are old. <laughs> so yeah, that's my score, seven, nine. What do you guys think about Michter's? Do you guys have it? Have you tried it? What do you think about this one? Is this the best one? I heard the sour mash was better, but I don't know. I mean, I never tried it. But anyways, until next time, guys, get yourself a drink. 
Drink something you love.